Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Luke here, back here again. Let's see who made a video on me today. Because people do that now, apparently. Wow. Nathrix. I'm not going to say I was expecting this, but I was expecting this. Let's get right into this video. First, before I start this episode, watch this video. I want to say congratulations, Rainway. You really did do a good job on reaching that amazing view count of two times the amount of the population of the world. And Rainway is my favorite YouTuber, so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to him. Anyways, let's get right into the drama. Would you guys call it drama? I don't know, I don't know, before you guys were telling me, hey, it's not drama, so I'm not sure if you'd call this drama. Anyways, today I'm just gonna be defending myself. Hopefully he doesn't make another video. I'm pretty sure he won't. And you already know the nine-year-olds have came, and the nine-year-olds will come and destroy this video. And it's a list like to like ratio. So make sure you guys like right now. Drama. I'm happy to announce that I found a channel that is dedicated to reporting on drama between me and Kaneko. Like, that's all he does. Anything else is just... Not relevant at all. Did you just call all of my other videos irrelevant? i like you to know. I worked very hard on those videos, brother. And I do not appreciate you calling them. Irrelevant. Matter of fact, I only really have a thousand subscribers, so how relevant do you think I am? Before this video, at least. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Of course, me and Kaneko have no drama, pretty much, and uh, we've only disagreed with each other like once or twice, like genuinely, and we've had like an argument. But apart from that, it's like, it's pretty much just talking to each other and like replying to each other's tweets, and people take that as drama and, you know, us fighting and stuff. So, uh, I thought we'd just, you know, take a look at a channel called, uh, Looped, and his job is to report on anything that we say on Twitter and take it, you know, as a fight. Of course you get into arguments, and drama is actually... I think drama is an argument. You may not think that, but you know, that's what I think. My channel is definitely not dedicated to this. My channel de is dedicated to what's relevant, okay? I'm going to upload what's well relevant. I mean, like, of course. Hey, buddy, you're sure using a lot of my content, considering how cancer you think it is. Cancerous video, delete your accounts. Sounds good. Guys, I guess they must be fighting again. This is just, uh, one of the videos, by the way. Just for a bit of context, I did deactivate, like, the day before and, like, came back. And I also wiped on my tweets because some of them were a bit insensitive, so, uh, yeah. I guarantee at some point in this kid's life, he said delete your account to something that he didn't like. Actually, I have not said delete your account to anything I didn't like because I'm not a real- <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I, I didn't want to get exposed for it. And like I said, that was just, uh, that, that was just one of the videos. As you can see right here, he's got an entire catalog of Nathrix versus Kaneko Kit and Drama. Which isn't drama. That was just one of the videos. I mean, like, all those videos are completely about, um, Kaneko and Nathrix, right? It's not like some of them are about Sandra and Nathrix. And... Well, all of them are about Nathrix. I'm gonna, I'm, I admit that. But not all of my videos. I mean, like, you blurred out the rest of them. I... That was definitely stopping my youtube channel for this video okay so i've been trying this whole write a script thing and i'm kind of liking it anyways before you say i'm whining about getting blocked i'm not yeah you begin the video with saying that you're blocked and you put a sad violin in the background well really you didn't expect that i mean like me either i mean like my video is kind of irrelevant compared to i mean like he can upload anything he wants and it'll get more views than my most viewed video times too so i'm not even sure how he found the video but you know you know how that goes it's called comedic effect okay i was trying to just make somebody laugh apparently it didn't make you laugh very much but you know making saying the word furry makes you laugh so maybe i'll just continue calling kaneko kitten a furry I really do appreciate that ear warning because that would have really blown my eardrums inside fucking out if I didn't have my volume on max because that was the most pathetic scream I've ever heard. Are you making fun of my yelling? I mean, like, I can yell very loudly. Don't make fun of my yelling. Please. Guys, if you didn't know... He's a fur- Then he obviously makes fun of my, um, immediate pausing. I can't help it, bro. How do you not? How? 
How do you know I don't have a condition or something? Are you making fun of my disability, bro? That's not very nice of you. The definition of a social justice warrior is an individual that is defined by the constant nagging or addressing of anything defined appropriate, offensive, or triggering in their eyes. Even at the moment addressing social issues that truly must on social media should be applauded. But social justice warriors are going to leave their own. They repeatedly clash any content, even if it's innocent, and aggressively call for the downfall of the person who kills the offender. Naka was simply saying that it will be better if drama will be discussed in DMs. He really isn't out here saying that we can't talk about this shit publicly and that, you know, it's illegal to do that. Because a lot of the shit that happens is quite small and could be just completely avoided with a DM coming conversation, and that's simply all he's saying, I don't think that makes him a social justice warrior. Meanwhile, you're out here saying that, you know, he's a bad person for, you know, saying that and having an opinion, you sound more like a social justice warrior to me. Then he repeatedly, um, uh, makes fun of my capability of not being a social justice warrior. I'm not offended over these videos, I'm just covering the news, per se. You know when he told you to not make a video and, you know, push your public about drama? You, you decided to take that DM and make it public. You fucking idiot. I personally think, hey, if you have a DM and it covers your story, you can say that in public. I mean, like, why wouldn't I be able to share my DMs with another person? Makes no sense. I do not need another person's consent to show our DMs. That makes absolutely no sense, and afterward you call me an idiot, so I'm just gonna say idiot back at you. And you were also fucking lying? I wasn't lying. The thing is, after I said that, I mean, like, I was going to stop making videos on him, I didn't make any more videos after that. I was not about to make any more videos on him, at all. I wouldn't make that many videos as I would have been. But after he publicly called me out, I personally think, hey... It's drama, it's people are entertained by drama, it should be out in the public. I mean, like, if you have DMs of drama, go ahead and share that if you want to. If it's with another person, then you don't need their consent to share your DMs, as long as it's not two people that you are not a part of at all. But, if it's drama, you don't have to be a part of it. Take Keemstar, for example. Is he a part of most of the drama that he covers? Absolutely not. But inside of drama does not mean that you cannot be covering it. Whereas I do disagree with him when he says that all drama is bad because I, I do think he's referring to the small drama and like, you know, hey, you shoot him in pencil case, that's not very cool of you. You know, that doesn't need to, you know, signify World War 3, it just needs to be, you know, discussed in DMs. But like, most drama is good. Like, most of the big drama is good. Because then you get answers, then you get like, you know, stuff resolved. Like, him calling you out, as you're about to see, was intended to make you stop making these videos, like that DM that he sent was, but that clearly didn't work, did it? I was stopped making videos. I hadn't made a video since he made that DM. I had not made a video in that two hours that he didn't publicly call me out. After you publicly called me out, the DMs are forgotten. I don't care about your opinion anymore. If you just denied and called my channel complete trash, basically, you basically just insulted me. Not completely settled in DMs. I'm gonna continue what I was doing because I mean like, you continue what you were doing no matter, the DMs really didn't even count. Because after you, two hours later, two hours later, that's all. That's all it took you. Two hours. Publicly call me out. By the time you publicly called me out, I did not care at all once you publicly called me out. I could make 20,000 more videos. I would not care at all about your opinion. But before you made the public a call out, I was not going to make any videos on you. And I fully agree with that. If you're going to make money off of fake drama, I'm going to shit on you as well. Drama can be an argument between two people. I don't know what you guys are considering drama, but I consider drama definitely differently. If you're having an argue with somebody publicly, that is drama, in my opinion. Also, I do not make any money off of these videos. I do them purely for my enjoyment and for your enjoyment. Which I don't think you're enjoying very much, so I'm probably not very good at my job. But, I do this for your enjoyment and my enjoyment, so this no nobody really needs to tell the public about a private conversation that just happened to be on twitter which most people can see if they want to see on twitter if they do so to choose go in his replies nobody needs to report on a conversation Dickhead. actually technically i can report on any conversation that you make on publicly as long as i give you credit and boom there's your credit hey this is nathrig's video i'll link him inside of the description it's a video i'm definitely critiquing it Fair use, I can use whatever I want from your Twitter, as long as I give you, I don't even need your consent to make it. I can literally just make a video about every single tweet that you've ever made.
If you get into an argument, I will make a video about it. Okay? Just get that straight. I will make a video about it if you get into an argument. But if you settle inside of DMs and just tell me, hey, I really don't want you making videos about me. And I'm not going to say this out publicly, but yeah. Can you please stop making videos about me? I would have stopped. But since you called me up publicly, not a chance. I, I'm really confused. So basically you're saying that you end up reaching up drama and then you say that, yes, it now involves me so I can reach up drama. You weren't openly saying that you're just doing this for, you know, the attention. That's... That's not, not very good, is it? I do this f not for the attention, but for the enjoyment, for the entertainment. I mean, like, to me, drama is definitely entertaining. Two people having a fight, UFC, whatever you want to call it, boxing... That's entertaining to me. And if you don't like it, then maybe my content just isn't for you. But it's for some other people. That's why they subscribed. And if you really don't like my content, just leave. A tweet that he's shown for about a millisecond, he said that yes, I am definitely a social justice warrior for taking into consideration that physical abuse is a sensitive topic and can possibly upset others. Caring about other people's feelings doesn't equal SJW. What he was saying is that the image that I posted was a bit insensitive and that it could hurt people's feelings. Not once did he say that I can't post that content, which is what an SJW would say. He's, are you saying that it's a social justice warrior to say I can't post content? Or that kind of content. So you saying that I can't post for drama videos is kind of being a social justice warrior. In my opinion. Standing over Sandra, who was beaten up and tied up as well. With uh, just me standing over her smiling. It, it wasn't really, uh, it's a small thing in, in my eyes. Whereas I did take it as Roblox characters, I didn't realise that it did, you know, resemble a real life person. And that, uh, you know, other people thought that it was like a drawing of her, which... You know, I had my, like, yellow mask in the, in, you know, in the drawing as well, which I don't have in real life. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a big, you know, sign that it was Roblox characters, but people did take it as resembling real life people, me and Sandra. Where, no, it was just, oh, Roblox characters fighting, but people took it as, you know, real life people. No matter how you saw it, it was definitely an image that could upset people because it was like, you know, somebody tied up, you know, bruised. Uh, it, it was a bit insensitive to say the least. And Kaneko saying that that could possibly upset somebody definitely doesn't make him a social justice warrior. First of all, anything can upset somebody. Any of your videos can upset somebody. Does that mean you don't post them? No, it doesn't. You can do whatever you want to do, as long as it is not against the law. And inside of my book, you can definitely post a picture of two, two Roblox characters fighting. It's, it's a picture. It's a Roblox character. It's not real life. And I hope you never played Roblox, uh, Phantom Forces, or Arsenal, because you'd probably be very offended at that game. A standpoint. Nobody needs to have an unbiased standpoint on people having a conversation on Twitter. Nobody gives a shit. If nobody cares, then why are you making this video? If nobody watches my video, then why are you making this video? And also, some people definitely care. I know at least one person and that one person i'm pleasing and i'm pleasing myself so if i can help one person have some entertainment and i can entertain myself i don't see the problem if you don't like it then leave anyways make sure you guys subscribe to randway subscribe to me follow me on twitter yeah make sure you guys follow me on twitter i really need some more followers turn on notifications join my roblox group do not harass my discord server and goodbye. Stop making fun of my pausing, please. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing to add. What is that cancerous fan inside of the background of your videos? Yeah. 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 Yeah.